closer to the microphone, but it does seem like the microphones, your microphones are not working. Yeah, it's working in the room, so I can't tell that it's not working online. I believe it's working now. Yes. yes. Are they working online? Yes. All right. Okay. All right, good. So we're on item 4A, and there's been a request for a continuance. I was just pointing out that uh, that the applicant should be aware of the fact that this is there was nothing on the face of it that showed us something that would be an exception. So just to save time, you're a good architect. You might want to think about that. 11,000 square feet uh, application, so you might want to think about how that would work when you bring, if you bring it back, if you need to. Um, all right. Uh, with with that, uh, uh, I'll move for the right now. We're being requested a continuance. The no the note says June, but I know that we're going to have a, uh, a a housing issue in June, so we're looking at May, or is that what it is, May? Uh, well, earlier this afternoon, we received the the formal email from the applicant requesting the continuance for June um, planning commission hearing. But at the recommendation of our town planner, um, we recommended continuing this to July, actually, um, as the June planning commission hearing is reserved for uh, discussions related to the housing element. Right. So um, the applicant is uh, looking to uh, continue this item to the July hearing. All right. July might be too far if you're looking for a turnaround time. If you want May, let me know now. All right, good. All right, July then. July then, and hopefully you'll come up with a new plan before then. All right. Uh, with with that then, we'll we'll uh, go ahead uh, with a uh, with a. I'll I'm going to make a motion for continuance to July. Okay. You want uh, me to? Yeah, sure. I'd like to make a motion that we continue this discussion, this meeting until July. Right. Second. We'll, item four A. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Send us the bill. Or send them the bill. <laughs> All right. Uh, with that, a then, meeting even quicker. Yeah. With that, uh, we've got staff reports. Uh, and Brittany, what do you have for us? Sure. So I just wanted to remind you that we do have a joint study session with the Planning Commission and the City Council on Monday this next week on uh, April 29th at 4 p.m. in this building. It uh, will be both remote and in person. The staff report for that went out yesterday. Um, I know that it's quite a lot of information. 218 it pages. really reflects nearly half of the housing element and the revisions that we're making in adjustment to HCD's comments. Uh, what I would recommend is starting with uh, the attachment that includes the red line versions, that will make it a little bit more clear as to the extent of what is changing in each section as to not completely overwhelm you. If you start with the clean version, you're not gonna have a clear picture of uh, what's the difference between the adopted housing element and the changes that we're gonna make. We did do a high level overview in the staff report, so that should also help give a sense of what the changes are and why. Uh, but if you have any questions, of course, leading up to the meeting on Monday, I'm more than happy to meet with you one-on-one -on -one or have some conversations. Um, the reason that we're having a study session on this topic is because it covers nearly half of the housing element and it's focused on uh, demographic and population information that's going to, that requires updates but doesn't necessarily correspond to, I think, the more meatier discussion items that we're gonna see come forward, like the actual site selection, the CEQA analysis of the sites that are included for multifamily housing, the design standards for all of that. And so I'm trying to um, enable a more focused conversation on the demographic information so that we can focus more on these other issues uh, when we move forward. And at that point, I am hoping to release the environmental review document sometime next week and start the 30 day notification process for that. And then aiming for a planning commission meeting on the housing element in June, which is why we were telling the previous applicant that they probably don't wanna have their variants heard at the same hearing, that it would make more sense to go in July. Um, so with that said, we're looking for we're looking towards the CEQA notification happening very, very soon. Um, and the uh, June planning commission being dedicated towards the housing element. All right, good. 
Sounds like fun. If you uh, you probably can pick up your packet uh, now. If you, I mean, on the, before you leave, if you haven't picked it up already, because it's in the lobby. And yeah, okay. You, yeah, you need, you need a suitcase to carry it. Yeah, you do. You do. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Where's the lobby from? Uh, there? Right, right around that way. That way. Off the yeah. subtle door. Yeah. 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 Okay. You, you'll follow Brittany because she's okay. got a key. Oh, okay. That's important. Yeah, and it's right. It was right there on the counter when I when I picked mine up. All right. Anything else? No, that's it. All right. Any commissioner reports? I don't have anything. All right. Need a motion to adjourn. So moved. All right. Seconded. Second. All right. All right. She'll second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. We're out of here. A new record. A new I'm record. Sure. It's a new record. Brevity. <laughs> yes. New record, even for me. <laughs> I've had short meetings, but this was the shortest. That is good. All right.